and uh, sorry, I'm just admiring my gun. Yeah, got a problem with that? No, I'm just kidding. What's up, guys? It is Joshua Foster. I'm here again. Um, it's been a long time, <laughs> really, really long time. But anyways, um, I just got something cool in the mail. Uh, I bought a new barrel for my Savage 22250, and I'm pretty excited to show you guys. I haven't even opened it yet. It is right there, and um, I'm pumped. So I'm gonna set you guys up, and we are going to start the process of turning this rifle into a competition match gun. Okay, so here it is. It also has an action wrench and a barrel nut wrench. It's a Criterion barrel. I bought it from Northern Shooter Supply. And um, they're really good guys over there. They hook you up, whatever you want. All you gotta do is go to their website, look up Criterion, um, Savage Prefit Barrels, and they're fantastic. Awesome. So what do we got? We got an invoice. All right. Um, we don't need to look at that. Here we go. So we've got the barrel taped to the action wrench. I'm assuming new squared and true um, lug. You really don't want any of this on your barrel. So we're gonna clean this all up. All right. Sweet barrel. Here we go. Check. Uh, I will say they packaged it very well. I was I was wondering how they package it. Ooh, beautiful. There's the barrel. The barrel is threaded, so it's got a thread protector on it. So the barrel is freezing. It's obviously been in the back of a truck for a while. Very smooth barrel nut. Very very nice. You're gonna want to leave it on the barrel because you're just gonna leave it all the way screwed to the front. And here's the new squared and true lug. You're gonna wanna throw away your old lug if you buy a stock rifle to upgrade it because they're just not very good. If I had a caliper, I would show you. Basically, what that means to us is that all the way around this thing, it's the same. Maybe within a thousandth, but it's all the same. And on these stock Savage ones, they're not very tr squared or true. So. But we're gonna have some fun. Take this apart, screw this one in as far as we can, kind of leaving it sort of safe. We won't tighten anything down. And then we will get the no-go gauge and the go gauge, and we'll see. So this is the beginning of the Savage 6.5 Creedmoor build. But first we are going to unbolt this junk, get the scope off, and uh, try to make some magic happen. You absolutely don't want anything on these threads, so cap them. I will be back. I'm gonna go get a wrench. Got it. So let's get to it. You pull the trigger, slide it back. This is on the bottom bolt releasing ones, just so you know. And once you get it loosened, you should be able to just untwist it. It shouldn't be super, super tight and you shouldn't crank it down super tight. So here is your old stock that you can, that would be perfectly fine for using. I don't recommend keeping it if you're gonna spend $500 on a barrel. Here is your action right here. This is what you're keeping. Let's take the scope off. So, we've got it, it works. We're just gonna take the scope off. It's just a cheap $120 scope. We're not gonna put this back on this rifle. Cool, so scope's off. Here's the action. We don't want these. These are a no bueno mounts that just came from the factory with those. This is very important. And this has got to go. I don't know why it's bad, but I don't really care to know. So we're gonna take all this up stairs. Okay, so there is my action vise. Okay, make sure your firearm's unloaded. Check mark, unloaded firearm, okay. Remove action screws, remove barrel action from the stock. Turn your action upside down, position the action wrench cap over front of the action. Okay. Okay, so then uh, after you turn your gun upside down, there's a hole in your action and uh, 
you'll see it. So if you're doing this right now, it's my first time too, but if you're doing this right now, you're going to want to be doing it as I'm doing it. So this is the little stuff it comes with. Here's your little washer, your one inch screw. It's gonna go down into the action. Snug down, so snug, okay. Insert these bolts. They should go hand tight first. You gotta be really careful with your action. It says only 25 foot pounds is what you need. Make sure your spaces are even. Okay, so what you're actually looking for is the even spacing on either side of that action wrench. Get a pipe wrench to pull this off because I don't have anything else. So, and they said if I'm getting rid of this, I could just tear it up. So let's just do exactly what they said. It needs to come towards me already. So there it is. Okay, so the whole barrel is just coming right out. If you can see this, dummy proof. Pretty much. If this isn't all coming out with just your hands, if you cranked it down too far. So, might as well throw this junk away. No good. And this barrel nut, you might as well take it off the barrel and throw it away as well. So if you look in there, it, uh, it's a bit grimy. You're gonna wanna clean that out. A little bit anyway. I got the no-go gauge and the go gauge. And um, I'm going to have to find a breaker bar, get everything perfect. We're going to actually install this barrel now. You'll need the go gauge right here, 6.5 Creedmoor. And um, this is the Creedmoor no-go gauge. So what should happen, theoretically, when you're doing this, um, your go gauge should close on the bolt when, th when the barrel's installed and your no-go gauge shouldn't. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, uh, we're gonna start removing that little pin because it's gotta come out so the no-go gauge will go on. Okay, so hopefully you can see everything okay. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is take something real small, in this case I'm using a small trim nail, and you're gonna wanna put your finger over the front of this so this pin doesn't come flying out when you pull it back out. But for now, just take this little pin, and find yourself a hammer. With the hammer, we're gonna try to just sneak it on out of there. I don't know if that's the word you should use for this, but. Okay, it's coming out now. Right, all right, so it came out of the backside. There's the pin, right there. Do not lose that little thing. Now, I'm gonna put it face down on this cedar when I pull this out. Okay, now it's out. And that was because that pin should come flying out of there. So there's the little spring and there's the little pin. You do not want to drop these, by the way. If you ding them, drop them, anything, um, they're pretty much done for. All right, so once you have this evenly spaced, tighten it down, I'm doing 20. You'll know if it's on right, if the barrel's not threading smoothly. So here we are, new barrel. Take off the thread protector. It's got a little bit of anti-seize already on it. And I am just gonna begin to twist it in. Just as long as you don't go over the poundage, you can adjust it back, because this kind of just holds it. What I'm gonna do is actually flip it. Alright, so now we're gonna go go gauge first. Slip your bolt in there, pull your trigger. You're just gonna need pulled to go in. All right, now be very careful. Do not drop this thing. Go gauge going in. Okay, so it's way too tight. So we'll back it off, back it off, back it off, back it off. Now it's getting closer, still needs backed off. Okay, now it's closed. Tighten it a little. It's good. Still good. Just twist. Okay, so it won't go. Now you know how close you are. So now, grab your barrel, 
turn it back again. I'm talking a little bit, and it fits. A little bit this way, doesn't go. A little bit this way, it goes. So you're safe. Theoretically, that's where you want it. But, that's what the no-go gauge is for, it's to be sure. I will do no-go. Get your no-go, put it on. Your no-go should not go. It's close, but it won't. So that's good. Okay, so now, we've got the go gauge and the no-go gauge doing what they're supposed to do. One no-go, one is go. Now, we're gonna tighten the barrel down to spec, then we're gonna put the tape on and see, just to make sure if we're okay. Lock barrel not securely in position when you have head spacing properly adjusted. Proper torque settings are 45 to 50 foot pounds. Without scratching everything. Should break at 50. Okay, so that's 50 pounds. Um, they say no more than that, so take it off. And does it still go? It still go. You're gonna grab your no-go. Remember, always pull the trigger to get it back in. No-go. Whoa. Okay, let's back that barrel off. That means it's too much go. Way too much go. We're going to have to tighten the barrel down some more. Okay, absolutely won't go. That's what you want. You want it to absolutely not go. Take that out. Put your go gauge in. Okay, so it goes, which is good. The no-go is no-go now. We're gonna tighten that collar up as much as we can without turning the barrel. And that's hopefully good news this time. So let's take our, our no-go. Because last time we took our no-go, it worked. We don't want the no-go to ever work. Okay, absolutely is not working. Awesome. Now we just need the go to work. Okay, the go works. Awesome, so technically we're good, we're good to go. But we're going for some stupid accuracy. So, we're gonna take some tape. Now, you're just gonna stick this right on the end. Make sure there's no wrinkles or crinkles or none of that junk. So, looks good. We're gonna cut it off. It's important that you don't nick it, but here it is. It is now covered. Now, it shouldn't go. Because it adds about three thousandths of an inch-ish. Now you should feel a little pressure when pushing it in. Okay, so it won't. It actually, it will not go. So you can force it because it's tape. You can force it. But it's not, it's not gonna go. Cool how that works, huh? All right, now take your tape off. You can see how flat it got in there, very flat. I mean, that's just a couple thousandths of an inch. I mean, not even. So take that off. It means it's head spaced properly. Okay guys, so it seems like everything's great. Um, this is the go gauge end still. Still going, still great. This is, I mean, we're talking, we've got probably two thousandths of an inch of space. And uh, so now, now that everything's torqued down, you just want to make sure one last time, one more time before it gets out of the vise, you're going to want to put this, this uh, no-go in. Absolutely won't go. So, we are good to go. We can crank it down into our uh, stock, even though it's not super great stock. Okay, so we got it. Um, it is completely installed and it went rather flawless. Um, it's a 26 inch barrel by Criterion Barrels Incorporated. And this is on a Savage Model 11 Trophy Hunter. 
Um, I'm pretty excited about how this is going. Um, I might glass bed this stock for now until I can afford a chassis, but right now it just looks like a hunting rifle. Uh, it'll be my predator gun for a while. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming back. I know it's been a really long time. I'm gonna start pumping a video out whenever I can. It might not be consistent. It might not even be uh, once a week, but uh, I'm gonna try to do something that I, I'm just gonna try to record stuff that I do on the daily. This is one of those things, I mess with guns. Uh, another thing is at work. If, um, if you guys wanna see how to's on how to make your house look great um, and you want some tips, uh, let me know. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. It was fairly easy, uh, kind of dummy proof. It should take you 15 minutes if you have the tools and the know-how, but first just watch this over and over. And uh, anyways, we're gonna put this bolt back together, same way we took it apart, piece of cake. Anyways guys, thank you so much. I know it was kind of a boring video, but I'm getting back into it, posting what I can now. And uh, so, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll catch you next time, and uh, Hopefully next time we're taking some test fire shots. Anyways guys, thank you so much for being here. And uh, sorry, I'm just admiring my gun. Got a problem with that?